Hey guys and welcome back to my next video. Today's video is a little bit different to my usual ones because um, recently my mum became a forever business owner. Um, I'll explain what that means as best I can. Basically, Forever is a company who base all of their products around aloe vera. So they're all aloe inspired. Um, and they do everything from makeup to pet care to fitness and it's, it's like a really really healthy sort of company and everything's based around aloe vera so I tried to explain that as best that I could and today I'm going to be talking about the makeup products because I've recently come back from Australia and whilst I was in Australia I took some of the makeup products with me just to test them out um, and see what they were like and you know see if I could do a video on them and stuff and it turns out the ones that I've used are actually really really good so I'm going to talk about some of these like a little bit separately They're all good. oh you can see me in the mirror yeah, I'm going to talk about like some of them separately. There's some bits that I want to talk about more than others because some of it's really exciting and I've used that a little bit more than the other stuff. Um, so this video is basically just going to be based on the makeup. First product I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about BB cream first. Um, now this BB cream comes in three different colours. Um, the one that I use best for my skin tone is the Sandy shade. I have got this product on right now. Um, I like it because I get really, really funny about foundations. I think I have a little bit of a fear of looking like I'm caked in foundation and looking a bit silly. So a BB cream is always good for me because it's not a stick, you know, it's quite light and it gives you quite good coverage without making you look really, really caked. So yeah, that's why a BB cream, whatever BB cream it is, is always better for me. But this one is really good, you know, it matches my skin really well. Um, obviously there are only three shades to pick from. Yeah, this one is really good, there are only three shades to pick from. Because it's not that thick, it's not so much about the colour, it's more about just covering anything that you want covered up on your face, really. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really impressed by that. I've got, I bought a couple because um, I've got the nude one for when I don't have so much of a tan. Next thing I want to talk about which is really exciting is the lip gloss. The reason I like this lip gloss so much, well the main reason I like this lip gloss so much is because it goes like this. It's got a light which is so cool and it's got a little mirror so basically if you're in the dark or if you're in the car in the dark then you can just put your little light on don't know if you can see it because of the lights. Yeah, you should put your little light on and then just do your lip gloss like that um, in the mirror. So I think that is really, really good. It does come in a range of colours. I brought this one because I like the sparkliness of it. I think this colour is the orange glow. Um, and it does, it smells really, really nice. And obviously, if you don't have a lip gloss that smells nice, then you don't need a lip gloss at all because you're not going to wear it on your lips if it doesn't smell nice, are you? So, yeah, I haven't actually got this on right now, um, but that leads me on to my next product that I want to talk about, which is the lipsticks. Now, I've got a few of the lipsticks here. I think I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five of the lipsticks here. The one I want to talk about is the only one that I haven't picked up yet. But yeah, the one I want to talk about is the Cherry Red Delicious lipstick and um, that's the one that I've got on right now now if you look at it it actually does look like it's going to be really I'm just going to cover that for you it actually does look like it's going to be really really bright um, and any of you that have seen any of my previous videos or seen me on X Factor or in photo shoots or whatever um, you will know that red lipstick is my favourite favourite makeup product it doesn't matter where it's from you know, what kind of makeup it is, I love red lipstick. And this one looks like it's going to be really bright, which for me doesn't bother me so much because I love bright red lipstick um, and I would wear it anywhere. Um, for some other people, it's quite hard, especially if you don't really have the skin tone for it, to pull off bright red lipstick, especially in the daytime. At nighttime it's fine, in the daytime it, sometimes it just looks really, really harsh. The good thing about this red lipstick is the more you apply, the brighter it gets. So obviously some people don't really like to go out the house with bright red lipstick on, especially in the day. At night time it's different if you're going out somewhere. In the day you want a little bit of colour on your lips but not too much. And sometimes I do really struggle to find a colour 
lipstick to wear in the day. Something that's not too harsh, it's not going to surprise people when I turn up to meet them for lunch. Um, but I still want something on my lips that's not a lip gloss. That's why I think this is really good because basically if I put one coat of this on, you can see it's red lipstick, it has a kind of shimmer to it, it's not matte, it doesn't have the matte look or anything like that or the matte feel. Um, but it kind of, it's a tiny little bit glossy. So, you know, it doesn't paint your lips, basically. But if you do want it to paint your lips, if you're going out of an evening, or you're going out on a day, or whatever, and you want bright red lipstick on, you just apply a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm really, really impressed with these lipsticks. And to be perfectly honest, the red one is the only one that I've tried so far, because obviously red is my favourite. Um, but I do have five of them here. And I've, I think it comes in 12 shades. Um, so yeah, I've got five of them here. It does come in 12 shades, um, but the red one's the only one I've tried so far because red is my favourite. And I'm waiting for the other ones that I've ordered to get delivered. So I've basically ordered the whole set um, so I can do a lip swatch video. So that's going to be separate to this video um, because I am actually quite eager to test out the rest of them. They've got some really nice colours, I think. Let me just read out a couple more colours. They've got pomegranate um, one. This is another pomegranate one. They've got a rose gold one, and they've got a, a chocolate one. Um, and they're the ones that I've got, but they do. there is a few more to come, so I'll do a lip swatch video with all of them when they've arrived. Okay, the next product I'm gonna talk about is the Cream to Pounder Fab. Okay, the next product I'm gonna talk about is the cream to powder foundation um to be perfectly honest when i saw that it was a cream to powder foundation on the box i didn't really get it i didn't really understand what cream to powder meant um but i do now because i've tried it but obviously like i said previously in the video i am a little bit funny with foundations i don't like looking caked i try to have wear the slightest bit of foundation like the smallest bit that i possibly can um, because also you don't want to clog up your pores and I know like foundation is a big part of makeup but you don't want to ruin your skin if you don't have to wear it all the time don't because you know it will clog up your pores because it's makeup so yeah I tested this one out and I tested it out it basically it comes in this you've got like your little mirror and then you've got your cream to powder foundation and then underneath if you lift this up you've got like your little pad these pads don't really work well for me I don't know why, they, I've had so many foundations where they come in there, um, they work so well for other people but for some reason I just prefer to apply my foundation with a brush. So I took one of my brushes and I basically just use it like I would any other foundation um, and just put it on like that. And I really like it, again just like the BB cream it's not, it's not too much coverage but you know it does cover up the things that you don't want to see on your face and I think the shade that I've got here is the sandy I've got the 385 sandy color here um, so yeah that's all I've got to say about that one um, next product I want to talk about is I really want to talk about the eyeliner and the mascara I'm going to talk about them together um, because you know they're both for your eyes. I'm really really impressed with the eyeliner because any pictures that I put on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook of my face, which most of the pictures that I put on Instagram are of my face, I've always got eyeliner on. I love wearing eyeliner, I love liquid eyeliner, I just feel like there's so many different things that you can do with it. However, it has to be the right eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner can be very, very tricky, and if you, especially if you're doing the wings, like it, it is really, really tricky sometimes, and sometimes it just doesn't work out. Sometimes you need to take it off four times before you can get it right, um, and I'm happy to admit that. This eyeliner, I really like because it has such a precise tip. It's actually called Precision Liquid Eyeliner. So yeah, it is, it, it does live up to its name. It's got such a precise tip and it goes from really, really thin to quite thick, um, which is so good because obviously sometimes you want your eyeliner really thin, sometimes you want it quite thick, depending on what you're doing, where you're going, who you're meeting. So the tip of this eyeliner is so good to sort of get right into the crack of your eye there. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really impressed with that. and. 
I've used it for a few days now and I haven't seen sometimes with, with sort of like liquid eyeliners they don't run out but they dry up a little bit and then you need to like shake them and stuff and that hasn't happened yet since I've been using it so yeah I'm really impressed with that and I'm really impressed with the mascara because I don't have very long eyelashes like I have very very short eyelashes I take after my dad they're kind of just like straight they kind of just go up like that so yeah a lot of the time I will wear false eyelashes but I don't want to wear false eyelashes every single day and sometimes I do go out and I really 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 can't bother to put them on so I put so much mascara on to try and make my lashes look more luscious um and when I used this for the first time I was actually quite surprised because it does look like just your usual bog standard mascara but it made my eyelashes look quite long and again I do have that on right now um so yeah I am really impressed with all of this stuff um I think that's what I'm going to talk about for the moment here I do still have I still I've got a concealer here I've got a lip liner um two eyeshadows and a blusher I'll quickly talk about the blusher oh Jerry's come to join us that's who you can hear snorting yeah this is um the blusher and so yeah it's quite small fits in your handbag really really well um so yeah i've got quite a few of the products but i do still have to test out the eyeshadows and i do i'm really excited to test out the mineral makeup um that they've got obviously mineral makeup is so good because again i just it just brings me back to the whole coverage thing you want your face to be covered as much and as little as possible at the same time you don't want to look like you're caked um you don't want to look like you have got so much makeup on that you're going to melt as soon as you put under lights so yeah i'm really excited to test this out and i hope it does sort of give me enough coverage but not so much that i look silly um yeah, so I think they're all the products that I want to talk about in this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'm going to put the link to buy any of these products or have a look at any of these products in the description box below. So make sure you go onto the website and have a little look and order anything that you might be interested in. Obviously, there will be other reviews on the internet of all of this stuff. So if you do feel like you just want to test it out or like watch somebody else testing it out or see what people have to say about it then go and have a look at some other reviews as well um, but yeah do give the shop a little look see if there's anything that you want to purchase um, and I'll see you in my next video bye